my dear friend insist that everything is nothing but paramatma you are divine everything is divine what is upasana we come to the temple do namaskar do aarti do chanting what exactly is happening inside see we do the bhavana that i am talking to bhagwan krishna we do the bhavana that i am giving uh, naivedya to bhagwan krishna and radha ji is only bhavana see so if we can do bhavana on an object can't we do the same bhavana on everything and being it is in our hands see a person who doesn't know anything about our religion our uh, vigraha etc when he will come what will be his question and what are our question when we come we salute krishna 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 when a person who doesn't know anything about it he will come and he says hey what it is made up made up of is it a stone is it a marble he will not see krishna in that he will see the stone now why we see krishna because we have trained ourselves in the same manner let us train ourselves this world is nothing but expression of the same divine in bits pilani there is a temple saraswati temple when i went for the first time the whole temple is made up of marble very beautiful so right from the um, steps is all marble 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 so when we are climbing we don't bother about the uh, steps don't do namaskar and all that nice pillars and nice statues oh enjoy wow very beautiful very beautiful but the moment we went in front of the saraswati mata immediately all commentary gone hands come together close our eyes and ya devi sarva bhuteshu jnana rupena samstita now what has happened because of our training we are seeing the flooring is also marble the roof is also marble the pillars are marble but when it came to saraswati mata's temple we are trained ourselves that here is presence of divine this is the purpose of upasana therefore uh, yogi yoga niyojita chittah ramate balon mattava deva 